Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I would like to show you the micro segmentation portion when you have your SDA deployment. I like to simulate as much as I can. So in this case, I'm using EVENG for this lab, also the Catalyst 9K, the virtual ones. I have a virtual PC here, which is a Windows 10 and Kali Linux PC. I have a couple of fabric edge nodes here and border control plane. I have two of them. Let me quickly show you the, my secure CRT. Okay. So I have two fabric edge switches. As you can see here, I have my list sessions up, right? This is a border control plane one, and this is a border control plane two, I think. Let's see. Yeah, it's 250. Yeah, 250 is the border control plane one and 251. It's the you're running interfere low back zero. Okay, this is the border control plane two. I have my BGP session, so BGP. BGP, VPN4, Unicast, all summary, right? I have the corporate VRF and uh, I won't go through all the details about what I have in my SDA deployment because it's something that I've been covered in my previous videos. Probably what I can do if someone has a specific questions, they can put it in the comments and I can try to replicate or make a video about that specific portion for now i would like to focus just to the micro segmentation the sgts portion and how this is one of the advantages that you have when you use sda right because usually when you have for example i have pca and i have this linux docker container so these two devices are part of the same VN, right? The same virtual network, and they are part of the same segment, right? So usually when you, in your traditional, I would say deployment, when you don't have SDA, you might need to create some kind of ACLs or VCLs or something like that to deny the traffic between these two devices because they are part of the same segment, right? In this case, when you deploy SDA, you have the advantage to use this micro segmentation, which basically you create a specific tags and based on those tags, you can permit or deny the traffic, right? Let's go through that process here. So first of all, the devices need to go through the authentication process and ICE will push a specific SGT to those interfaces, right? Something that you need to check is the CTS environment data, for example, right? That you see that there is communication to ICE, right? And you can see the different SGTS available. So here, the one that I'm gonna use is the Corp user PC and the Linux server PC, right? So. As you can see, I have these SGT 18 and 19, and based on that, I can create my own rules. Let's first enable the interfaces. So it's 123, and this PC is going to use .1x and in EPTLS, right? So the PC will use certificates for the authentication. So show running interface gigabit Ethernet 1023. So let me enable this interface. Let's go, let's check eyes first to see what we have here. And okay, so as you can see here, this is the uh, user and this is the policies and the profile that is matching. So let's go through those policies first because it's how you will add the SGT to those interfaces. So after the Windows PC go through all this process and then it will use this specific rule 
and I'm going to push this corporate user PCAD, which is basically the SGTAT. So how you can check that, show authentication session, interface gigabit 0023, and then details, right? So as you can see here, the PC has an IP. This is a user. This is a Microsoft Workstation. This is the VLAN, and this is the SGT, right? Now, what I'm going to use also, as you can see here, I have the a rule name for Mac authentication bypass, and that's for my Linux workstations. And I'm going to apply the Linux server group, which is the SGT19. So as you can see here, it's running .1x. This will fail eventually, and it will the Mac authentication bypass. And I expect I to push the right configuration. So let's wait for that. Okay. Okay. So as you can see here, I have the VLAN 1021 and I have the SGT value 19, right? This is what I was looking for. The PC has an IP 66.12, right? So as you can see, both of them are part of the same segment. What I mean with both of them is the Windows PC and the Linux PC. So you have 66.10, VLAN 1021, and you have the Linux machine, and it's also part of the VLAN 1021, but the SGT is 19, right? So what I'm going to do here is first try to ping these two PCs, right? So let me go here. Okay, this is the Windows PC. So let me open a common prompt and this ping 10.196.66.12. Okay. So as you can see here, I'm not able to ping that specific PC. And that PC is part of the same segment. So I should be able to ping. But what is going on? If you check the show CTS and the role base, and the permissions, you will see that the permission from group 18 which is my Windows PC to group 19, the Linux server, is not allowed. So that's the reason why I'm not able to ping that specific device. This is the advantage that you have when you have micro segmentation, right? So you might have endpoints or a specific server or a specific printer that you want to restrict the access to a specific group, right? You don't want HR to be able to print out or something like that. Let's do something. Let's check eyes. Let's check the trusted portion. So you will see that we'll see my policy sets. So it's not this, it's the trusted policy here. And you will see the matrix here. And you will see that I'm not allowing the communication between these two groups. So what I'm going to do is change this, right? And I'm going to permit the communication. Okay, so now let's test if I can ping from the Windows PC, the Linux machine, as you, right? We couldn't do it before, so let's try this time. And now, as you can see here, I'm able to ping this device, right? Let's do something. What I would like to do, let's capture the traffic here and see if we can see some kind of SGTs there. So which one is this fabric? Five. Okay, so as you can see here, I have my capture. Well, this is my monitor capture. So what I'm going to do is start this capture to see if I can get the those SGT tags. Monitor capture tag start and show monitor capture. 
So this is active. So let's wait a little bit. Hopefully we can see some SGTs there. Let's just stop this. Let me stop this thing also. So show, monitor, capture, buffer. Yeah. Okay, so and twelve display filter and then frame that number and let's see if I detail. Let's see what I have here. Okay, as you can see here, part of this traffic, you have the group policy ID, right? So the group policy ID is 19, right? So it's how this specific device knows if this traffic is allowed or not, right? So that's that's something important that you should keep in mind. But yeah, in, in the next video, what I, I would like to do is uh, he configured this using a Catalyst Center, right? Because it's something that you can do also when you have that integration between Catalyst Center and ICE. So this is what I have. Thanks for watching.